Hi, Asa. Thanks for sending us in your uh, math questions at Snap Math. Um, I uh, believe you might be aware, but our uh, our hours of operation are normally from Sunday through Thursday from 4 to 10 p.m. Um, if you send us questions in that time frame, we will uh, get back to you as soon as we can. Usually within an hour, uh, we'll get back a uh, video to you. So uh, thanks for sending us in your question, though. Um, so we have two inequalities here. I'm going to answer. It looks like you sent in two questions, so we're going to answer them. I've written them down, uh, each one separately here. But what we're going to do is put these in slope-intercept form. Okay. So what we're going to do is uh, slope-intercept form is y equals m x plus b. Okay. So we need to isolate y. So the first thing we're going to do is subtract the x over to both sides. Okay, so we'll get 2y is less than negative x plus 10. And then I'm going to, uh, instead of divide by 2, I'm going to times both sides by 1 half. It's the same thing, uh, just a different way of looking at it. So I'm going to get y is less than, and then negative 1 half x, and then half of 10 is 5. Okay, so there's one equation. Now I'm going to uh, put this uh, inequality in slope intercept form as well. So again, I subtract uh, the x over. This will be, this will leave me with negative, or two y is greater than or equal to negative x plus nine. The uh, again multiply by one half. So this will give me y is greater than or equal to negative one half x plus nine halves. Okay. Um, so now we're going to graph these. So we look at the y-intercepts for the first one, which is 5. So we go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, put our dot there. And the slope is negative 1 half. So I go down 1, over 2, put a dot. Down 1, over 2, put a dot. Okay, uh, I'll do one more. Down 1, over 2. Okay, now notice it's just less than. So what we're going to do in that case... Um, it's just it's always a dashed line if it's just less than or greater than, and you'll have to excuse the uh, crookedness of the line there. Um, all right, so and since it's y is less than, that means you're gonna shade on this side or like the bottom side of the line, okay? And then this graph here, the it looks, looks like the uh, slope or the y-intercept is nine halves, which is four and a half, okay? So it's like right there. And then the slope is also negative one half, so it's down one over two. So it's actually really, really close to this line right here. Just a, a hair down. So I'm gonna try to draw this as best as possible. Um, so these lines are really, really close together. Okay. Okay. And then what we have here for this one is that it, the y is greater than or equal to. So it's actually solid, so we didn't need to draw a dash. Whenever it's greater than or equal to, it's going to be a solid line here. Okay? Um, and then that one we shade, since it's greater than or equal to, we shade that way. So where these shadings overlap are right between them. So all this area between them. Okay? So it's kind of hard to see from our graph, but the area we're shading is just right between those two lines. Okay? All right, now, these ones down here um, are already in slope-intercept form. So all we have to do is graph them and then um, see where their shadings overlap. So the first one, again, is the y-intercept is plus 5. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the slope is negative 1 over 1. So we're going to go down 1. And let me write that out. m equals negative 1 over 1. So I've taken the negative 1 here and written it as a fraction. So I know I go down 1 and then by the negative one here and then right one. So I'm gonna go down one, right one. You can also look at that like going up one, left one. Either way, it'll get you to the same place. Okay, and now this line, see how it's greater than or equal to, so we know it's a solid line, so it's gonna look like this. All right, and then as far as shading goes, see how y is greater than? So that means we're gonna shade above the line. So I'm not actually shading it, I'm just putting arrows. And then we'll shade it when we're done with both lines to see where they overlap. So this one goes down 4, which is right here. And the slope is, so m for this one is really 3 over 1. OK, 
Okay, so we go up three, one, two, three, over one. Up three, over one. Up three, over one. Okay, so we uh, make our line oops, here. And, and this one's also solid because it's uh, less than or equal to. <clears throat> so at this point we have y is less than or equal to, so that means we're going to shade underneath, so we're going this way. So now we have to look and see where the shadings overlap, and it looks like they overlap right over here in this region right over here. Okay, as you can see, arts was not my major. But, yeah, both graphs overlap. Uh, in this region right here. Alrighty. Um, hope this helped a lot also. Thanks for sending us your question and feel free to send more uh, in the future.